hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the empire if you're joining us for the first time please feel free to subscribe hit the subscription button down below and also feel free to tap the bell so you get notified every time i put up my videos so yeah we are back again with yet another series of going back to bases and today i just want to talk about the most important eyeshadow brushes that one should have as a beginner like um the ones that are very very essential like you don't really have to go and buy like a whole pack of brushes and uh, spend a lot of money on brushes but the most important brushes that you need as a beginner so let's just get straight into that video so the first things that you want to okay we've already done our brows of camera we uh prepped our leads like I've, i have a video where i do my eyebrows i have a video where i prep my leads i also have a video showing you guys the parts of the eyes uh, and their names so that when I'm saying I'm blending these you get to understand so I'm just going to link all that up here somewhere so you guys go check it out so today I thought to myself because since we've talked about how to prepare lid for eyeshadow we've talked about the iPad so now we want to do our eyeshadow so which are the brushes that we are supposed to be having that are so so important as a beginner like brushes that wouldn't cost you that much that is why I have decided to put up this video so i've already done one of my eye uh this is like my favorite uh, go to makeup eye eye look because i'm going to work so i always tend to find something just smooth and uh, you know easy to do because you don't have a lot of time so straight uh going straight into the video the first brush that you're going to need that is very very important is a flat brush this is a flat brush that can do a lot of it has a lot of uses so you can either get a big one like this or a smaller one um but it's important for you to have a flat brush this is a bit thicker so a flat brush is necessary in the sense that you can use this to pack your uh this your highlight shade right here when you're highlighting your brow bone area you can use this you can also use this to pack in your lid area your lid sorry your lid color to pack your lid color on your eye this is very very important for that you can also use it to you know uh highlight your inner tear duct once you're done just slightly and then you just you know uh tap that in uh you can also use a flat brush if you want to like uh create like um smudge out your lower lash line or create a thin line underneath your you know water line you can do that you can also use a flat brush to clean up your you know your lips once you're done with your um lipstick application which is not <laughs> part of this eyeshadow tutorial but basically a flat brush has a lot of uses you can get this and i got this uh, in a pack of almost I think 16 brushes uh, in a box a set of boxes a set They were in a set 16 brushes and I got them for 500 shillings at Du Bois Long time ago when I was starting out uh, on makeup and if I knew this earlier I would have just bought like but Anyway, it's still you can get this at maybe 50 shillings if at the cheapest Or if you're buying many you can get it at 30 shillings at Du Bois so a flat brush is very very important when it comes to your eyeshadow you can also use this to pack in your shimmer shades i do not like wearing shimmer shades especially when i'm going to work so i just you know use this to pack in my uh, matte colors on my lid that is what i've used to create this look the second brush you're going to need you're basically just going to need three brushes and you're done with your eyes so the second brush you're going to need is this it's like a crease brush it's a tiny fluffy but precise crease brush this is important in the sense that it fits onto your crease really really well like it just uh blends in the color on your crease area really well it's not that big compared to this this is a fluffy brush yes but this, are, this is way wider and uh, more fluffier than this so this is bigger this is used for your transitioning um transitioning shades i already taught you guys how to do i already shared with you guys how to do one color eyeshadow tutorial where I just use one color as my lid shade, as my transitioning shade, and also my crease shade. So I've already also shared to you, with you guys parts of the eyes. So when I say crease shade, transitioning shade, ooh, the S and the shoes. <laughs> when I say all those, um, you get to understand what I'm trying to say. Basically, these are the brushes you're going to. These are the most essential brushes, like the most important brushes you need. Like these ones, if you have these three, you can have a uh, very diverse um eyeshadow you know look and everything 
because uh what you need is like when you when it comes to your eyes you just need like three colors your lid shade your crease shade and your transitioning shade and that is what you're having here so we have our lid shade brush right here which is the flat brush then we have our crease shade right here with it, which is this uh tiny fluffy but precise ready enough to get into a crease then you have this fluffy brush right here <clears throat> This fluffy brush right here which is a bit you know wider and a bit thicker and gets onto your crease but you just use very very light hand to you know buff that into your crease so what i'm going to do is just to do my eye this part of my eye with these three brushes so that i can show you guys that you can really have a look with these three brushes so straight into our eyes and i'm going to use my cara eyeshadow palette and uh, i'm going to use this shade right here and I'm going to use a flat brush, so I'm just going to pack to just you know um tap. I don't know if you all can see. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, so I'm just going to pack, get that, then blow off the excess. Then I'm going to tap that on my lid area like that. So you just use this to pack your lid shade, whether it's shimmer or it's matte, you are good to go see so we have already packed our lid shade that's how it's looking so now because we have like a harsh edge this is where our crease brush comes in so you're going to take your crease brush and you're going to you know blend out that um lid shade that you used so you're just going to buff it out using circular motions you see how far i'm holding my brush this is where i'm holding my brush because i want to have like a light hand and also i just want to have like a smooth eyeshadow going on right there so yeah i'm just using circular motions that's what you want to do and you want to deepen it as much as you can as much as you want it to be like just you know blend it out very very well once that is done now we want to create like a transition like um you want to create like a smooth gradient so what you want to do next is use your fluffy brush to get onto your transitioning color and just just blend out the transition the crease color i don't know if that is making sense i know it's making sense it's just that you know i feel like i'm talking too much oh this tutorial so i'm going to dip into this shade right here it's like a i don't know is it a burnt orange or something? I'm not so good with color, so that's the one I'm going to use as my transitioning shade, and I'm going to tap and then tap off the excess, and then I'm just lightly just go above my crease shade and just you know blend everything together. If you're a beginner, by the way, you should I think starting with matches should be like the best uh, thing for you to do. Get to understand how to do your matte shades and then um and then you can now advance into shimmer shades and stuff like that but there are people who love shimmer shades and it's easy for them to do compared to doing matte shades but people are just different just learn what it is that works best for you stuff like that so i think i'm quite satisfied with that so i'm just going to go back with my crease brush and i am going to um try to fuse the colors together if i were using if i wanted to rock like a, a shimmer shade i would just go back into my um flat brush pick a shimmer shade and just go straight into you know just pack it on my lid just take it in, or use your fingers to you know pack your shimmer shade so that's why i'm saying these are the most important brushes for you to have like it just gives you an easy um uh, it's 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 not expensive to own and also it's not you can do a lot of things using just the, the, these three brushes by the way you can have a lot of eye looks because this flat brush you can also use it to cut your crease let's say for example you are going for a crease kind of look you can just clean it cut your crease then uh clean it again then take your shimmer shades and pack it or your your crease shade and just pack it onto your lid so i'm just going to pack um the main shade that we had packed earlier so that doesn't get lost in these other shades so i'm just going to go back and do that i'm also going to do this to this other eye because i feel like it's it 
so yeah that's just like basically it that's just everything you need to do when it comes to your eyeshadows and the kind of brushes that you want to use so as I said earlier on, you can use your flat brush to pack your highlights on your brow bone area. You can also use it to pack onto your lid shades. You can also use it to pack your shimmer shades. You can use it to cut your crease. You can use it to, you know, smudge your uh, lines, which I'm going to show you guys once I am done doing my makeup. You can also um, create a wing line with a flat brush. Like a flat brush has a lot of uses that you can just, you know, um, you can diversify it. Is that English? Like, we can diversify with it. I'm not sure, but hey, I know you guys get understand what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, so I'm just basically, I'm, I'm done. I don't want to say the word I'm basically, like, I just want to say I'm done. So, I'm done with my eyes right there. And uh, yeah, so if you were going to work and you were not filming and uh, talking like I am, this look would take you like maybe five minutes to do. So I am done. So what I'm going to do is do the rest of my face off camera. Then I'm going to come back and do our under eyes together with you guys using these three brushes that I've shown you guys. But these are basically the most important brushes you need to have as a beginner when you're starting your um your makeup or you when you want to start doing your eyeshadow. So these are like like the best. Like these three brushes are the only ones you need. Do not break a bank. Do not do anything like that so my face is already done off camera i wasn't doing something so serious this is a makeup without highlighting i just used my setting powder to highlight my highlighted areas and i controlled a little bit and i'm good to go so what i want to do now is do my under eyes with you guys with the same brushes that we have shared so i'm just going to take my flat brush right here and i am going to take a, a pencil um what do you call them like the thick pencils thick eyelining pencils and i'm just going to go into a color that is close to my eyes and uh yeah i'm just going to use this color right here i'm going to once that is done i'm going to go back into my flat brush and i'm just going to smudge out that liner Can you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Like this one is smudged out, this one is not smudged out. So you can see that the brush is definitely doing something. So right there, and our eyes are done. Our eyes are complete. So I want to put on my mascara and um, on my lower lash lines because I've already put on mascara on my upper lash. Then I am going to go back to my flat brush. I'm just going to clean it with a tissue just so that you guys can see that a flat brush can just change your entire makeup look like you can do a lot. So I just clean that with a tissue. Then I'm going to go into my highlighting palette right here and I'm going to take uh, this shade right here. This is the bronzing shade right here and I'm going to pack that on my inner you know the inner corner of my eye normally i don't wear this kind of makeup when i'm going to work like uh, this is so light for me when i'm going to work because i do casual work so i don't mind i can wear any type of makeup that i want to but then again sometimes i just feel like mm, like today now i'm just now we can just use our fingers to blend today i am wearing an kind of official casual official kind of wear so you want to wear makeup that really matches your outfit sometimes and you're good to go like you have your inner tear duct um and you, you also have your waterline smudged out you have your lead colors just using this brush so you don't really have to have a lot of brushes and your makeup is as good as done so let me just do my lips and then i'm going to show you how to use this brush to clean your lips like it's one flat brush with a lot of uses which is an amazing thing for someone to have so i'm just going to um do my lips which i'm not sure which color of lipstick i want to wear but before i do that let me just do like a very light highlight because makeup and highlight makeup is not complete without highlights <laughs> like i cannot 
do my makeup without highlights so but you want to do like very very light highlights so um this is not like we have finished the eyeshadow brushes part of it this is just another like um not necessary for you to have because um you can use this brush right here to pack your highlight so, let's just pack it and then just you know because we want like very light very light um highlight so see right there it's working very very light so it can work is your highlighter brush also so you don't really have to go and buy a lot of brushes you know and also you guys this makeup look has no uh concealer like i have not concealed today i have not concealed at all so if you want to see a makeup tutorial on that comment down below let me know if you want me to share with you guys how you can have a makeup look without you know using concealers to highlight your under eye areas and all your highlighted areas we're going to dig into that as we continue but first let's finish this eyeshadow uh eyeshadow series that i kind of like started so right there it's a very good highlighting brush by the way i think i'm gonna switch to this so see and you have your highlighted areas like you have it's so precise especially for your forehead it's so 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 precise i like it yes so that's that's just it so you can basically have just three, these three brushes and you are like gone like your makeup is gone like yeah, literally gone so look at me saying i didn't want like harsh highlights look at my face no <laughs> yeah so this is another one you can use for that purpose see how my face is all glowing and looking put together let me just do my lips and get out of here <laughs> so guys i've just decided to go with the red dp and i think this look look amazing it looks amazing so i'm going to use this flat brush to clean out my lips you see like i've smudged my lipstick all over and i'm going to use my foundation to clean that so i am just going to take my flat brush and uh just get onto my foundation just a bit So that's it i have cleaned my lips i have you know um wow i'm just loving this look looks i look like i'm i'm going to present a multi-million kind of deal in front of people <laughs> and to, to even think that i've not even concealed my face i think this is going to be my go-to kind of look right now makeup look to work so yeah i have shown you guys how you can use only three brushes to create this look and only have like um you don't have to spend a lot of money getting yourself makeup brushes and a shadow brushes so this is very very essential especially for a beginner if you're having a hard time getting yourself brushes you can just go ahead and buy these three brushes that is a flat brush uh, a crease brush and a transition brush these three right here are you are all you need for your makeup like to have a full face of eyeshadow and a beauty blender by the way you can have this and a beauty blender and you're good to go you're done only those three because you can use this as your transitioning shade and also use it as a highlighting uh brush which i'm really really in love with trust me this is the first day i've used this to highlight and i love already how it looks like it's just so precise and so amazing so this is going to be like i'm going to get a few of these and then this is my crease brush this is what you use to pack your crease shade and to blend it out and then this is what you use to pack your lid color you can use it to clean your lips you can use, use it to highlight your inner tear duct area you can also use this brush to contour you can use it to smudge your lower lash line like these brushes are just like you're done so i'm going to see you guys next time be sure to check out all my videos i'm going to link some of them up here for you guys to check them out also make sure to follow me on instagram to see more amazing uh, looks and tutorials and things like that so 
i'll see you guys next time i hope you guys enjoy this video and you have learned something new and something brand i hope that the video quality is good thank you so much for sticking around and thank you for subscribing and i love you and i'll see you guys next time and for that bye bye